One of the best ways to tell a story with a 3D map in QGIS is to use animations. So today let's try to put a map together first and then create an animation in our 3D map. Hello Seekers, welcome to the channel Seek Show. I hope you are doing well there. So this channel has loads of educational stuff, especially including GIS and remote sensing. So if you are interested in learning something new every day, click the red subscribe button down there and click the bell button to get the latest video updates. Right, I am going to add my shape files for today's tutorial, puzzles, road center lines and buildings i am going to change the colors of the buildings double click on building shape file and go to symbol here i will change the colors of the buildings into dark brown hit ok ok here then i will change the parcels opacity double click on this parcel shape file and i will reduce it up to nearly uh, 20 percent right and uh, it okay and one more thing what we have to do go to buildings properties and then go to uh, 3d view here this one and it is a no symbol so you have to change it into single symbol and what I'm going to do is change the extrusion level so the extrusion will be uh, collect or absorbed or acquired from the field type in the attribute table so I will set it as height double and OK that's all for now and hit apply and OK. Now you should see the 3D view here. It is being loading as you can see right this is our 3D map. Now you are familiar with this process. Right now what I am going to do is make a animation using this 3d map if we click on this animation you will see some other options coming down here you will see at the bottom there is a keyframes a plus mark and a minus mark there is some editing tools even save and export so for now let's hit a play button what is happening here is zooming out with five second interval so instead of having an animation between zero to five seconds you can actually add or plus keyframes or new seconds or you can remove the keyframes right also you can edit and duplicate the keyframes and finally you can export the animation as a video file so in this manner you should be able to continue and add so you can continue and you can keep hitting pluses and add different sorts of waypoints along and that will be saved in your project if you hit save right now it's saved as a part of this map so you can have one animation per one map so if i want a different animation i would have to insert a new 3d map and create an animation for that map now at any time you can click on the five seconds and you can see what can delete it or oh, and you can edit the keyframe and change the seconds of where that actually is located the final thing you can do with these animations is hit save if i export that i can put on my desktop and it will put a series of images so basically if we use the default 30 frames per second that means for every second of video it's going to capture the map 30 seconds so we can have dozens and dozens if not thousands of jpegs for longer video and we have output width and pixels and height and pixels we can make this wide and narrow as you want now the nice thing about that is you have all these default jpg that you could share and you can give a person a image at any point in the video or you can take all these images and create an avi that means a video and as a bonus tip i will show you an open source software for converting one kind of images to another or one video to another type so you can use this handbrake software to create an animation 
using those exported series of images. Let's go back to our QGIS software. And so now we have the ability not only to view our map in 3D and save as a part of the project, but we can run an animation and view how that's going to look and export that so anyone can view it even if they don't have QGIS. And this tells a very powerful story in our 3D maps. And finally, QGIS is a quite powerful in that way for making animations. Okay, that is the end of the today's tutorial. I will be back with the next tutorial soon. Till then, take care and goodbye.